This is for you people who didn't believe me when I said the physics engine was weird. Just look at this. He's just... He's walking up a remotely steep ledge, and he just spazzes out like everything's going wrong. Anyways, hello, friends. This is Kevin, a.k.a. Kman one coming at you with another episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode, we collected four of Panda King's treasure keys, if I'm counting correctly. Still not sure on that off the top of my head. And in this episode, we're going to be collecting the last one and taking him down in his hideout. So, jumping right in, we are in Duel by the Dragon, and from from the name of the video and the fact that you can actually see her right now, this is a Carmelita level. Freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief. Especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. All right. Yeah, this is another Carmelita level. So, collecting clues and running through. There are clues down here. And I'll go ahead and spoil this just so I don't have to explain it later with limited time. Um... We're not going to immediately be able to collect the vault for this level because there's going to be like an awkward in-game explanation for it. But basically, they don't want you to have the next power until you've beaten the game. So uh, we're not going to be able to collect this vault immediately, uh, but I will be collecting it. Don't worry. Uh, I don't know if I've actually said it out loud, but I will be 100%ing this run of the game. So no worries there. So we'll be getting every power. I will be covering uh, speed run challenges, basically. I'll be covering everything, but we won't be able to get this vault immediately. So if you're having trouble finding clues in another level, then you can still get this one to get the blueprints and everything. But as far as the power inside it. Not yet. And I feel like I've been talking about that forever, so let's just talk about this level. Um, this level, there are a couple more segments where they kind of make the firing AI work better for her to make the level challenging, but it still just ends up really falling flat. But that's again my opinion. You're entitled to your own, blah blah blah. You don't want to get flamed on the internet for saying something. On collecting clues, breaking a safe because safes have two clues in them, and vaults have power ups that you can get for collecting clues. And I'm going to be very insistent about that from now until well, I mean, there's only one more vault left in the game, so from now, but it's just I've been so inconsistent with the nomenclature for the duration of the playthrough, so I'm going to finally sit down and force myself to say something a certain way. Anyways, this segment is annoying because the camera automatically focuses on Carmelita, so it's just this is just kind of an interface thing rather than the game itself being challenging. But, Still, nothing I can't handle, even though I'm doing live commentary. And as far as live commentary goes, I've complained before that it like hinders my ability to play well. But as far as as far as really like hindering me, outside of a couple levels that I already have trouble with, I honestly haven't been having too bad of a time. So I guess I'm just being overly dramatic. And here she can actually fire at pillars that are in front of you. But she doesn't do it all the time, sometimes she just fires at the one you're standing on. So, yeah, kind of a missed opportunity. And did I miss clues? I can't have missed clues. I missed clues. Well, I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll wait until I can actually unlock the vault to collect them. But I'll probably go ahead and collect them on screen, so you guys can see that. But, anyways, gonna whack this last firework, and once it fires up there, Carmelita falls away. Watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. All 
right, and here is our key. I guess it's kind of a good thing now that I took all that time to explain that I wouldn't be able to get the vault because I ended up not being able to get it for two reasons. So, hooray, me accidentally planning well. Anyways, let's just go ahead and work our way over to these fireworks so we can face the Panda King. And awkward silence because I wanted it to be really dramatic and intense. I feel like a lot of levels are just like us getting launched up into their hideout rather than walking in. I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame food. All right, so here is the fight with Panda King. For, there are two phases, basically. Uh, you're going to approach him and he's going to throw fireballs at you. And then you're going to be up at him and he's going to use his Flame Foo attacks on you. He only has three. One is like a spinning move and the thing is you jump over. And this one, he aims to the side of him. So you don't actually need to do anything to dodge him. And then he has one more attack but I'll go over it once he uses it, because he's, he usually switches through his attacks pretty well. All right, this is Booming Chop. He just does a karate chop in front of him. You just need to run to the side to dodge him. So the three dodges you need to do are jump, sidestep, and stand still. So, I guess standing still isn't really a dodge, but like, it's like one of those things where you like outthink yourself and end up screwing yourself over. But this is a really straightforward and easy boss fight if you ask me, so let's just move on. Your skill with that game is unparalleled. <laughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Thiebish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically-minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. <laughs>